how's it going guys, Wonderful here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with exploiting on Roblox, and I'm going to be going over how to get your executor, how to get some scripts for that executor, and also how to use those scripts, and I'm also going to be showing you how to fix any errors that you're going to be getting along the way, so yeah. And if you want to get a step-by-step -step tutorial, you could watch through the whole video, but if you just want to jump around to a specific part, I'll have some timestamps in the description for you, but yeah. So step one is to download WinRAR. And this is for any executor you're going to download. So right here, this should be in the first or second link in the description. And since most people are running on 64-bit computers, unless you're on Windows 7, just click this WinRAR x64 64-bit, which is the very top option. Click this. Boom. And if it asks you this down here, just click Keep. And then right here, under WinRAR, just open it. And click Yes. And whenever my screen goes black, that's when it's going to ask you like yes or no. Just click yes. So right here, you're in this menu. Click install. Boom. You don't need to change any of this stuff. Just click OK. And then done. And then here you are. And of course, I've already had WinRAR installed for basically forever. But if you haven't, it'll look exactly like this. And this is it. You're done. You don't need to open up anything. Just click this. X. Now you have it. Okay, so step two when you're downloading an exploit is come over here. Go to the bottom left in your Windows search bar. Or just click the Windows key and then type Windows Security. So right here, Windows Security. If it doesn't pop up right at the top, it'll pop up down here. So just open this up. And then on the left side where there's all these tabs, click Virus and Threat Protection. And then Virus and Threat Protection Settings. Right below this, there's Manage Settings. So click this right here. If I'm going a little bit too fast, you can pause the video. So right here, Manage Settings. And then this is the only one you need to disable. You can keep everything else on. This is just going to make sure that your antivirus doesn't automatically delete the DLLs in the exploit. So right here, turn that off, click yes, and then here we are. So boom, it's going to give you the thing saying that it turned off, so you're good. But if that didn't work for you, maybe you have a different antivirus installed. Come over here to the bottom left again, and this time type control panel. So right here, click uninstall a program, or go to programs and click uninstall a program. And this is going to show you every single program that's on your computer right now. And if all you want to do is look around for stuff like Avast, McAfee, just anything that would be an antivirus. And then just click on it like this and click uninstall. And then it'll just instantly start uninstalling it. Okay, so once you've uninstalled and disabled all your antiviruses, you're pretty much good to go. So you can install literally any executor you want. You could do Synapse X if you have 20 bucks laying around. Or if you don't want to spend money, there are tons of free options. There's Vega X, which is mine. There's Evon. Uh, Electron, Kernel, pretty much anything you want to use. But just for the sake of the video, I'm going to be using my executor because there's no keys on it. And it's just really simple. So the first thing you're going to want to do, this will be in the description as well, this link. Click Vega X Download. Boom. Right here, it's going to be this blue download now button. None of these pop-ups are real. Just click this one. So boom, download now. And here's where you need to follow some pretty strict instructions. So click this, open it up. Again, click yes. Whenever my screen goes black, that means it's asking you yes or no. So right here on the Vega X thing, it might ask you for some offers as you can see right here. And if you don't want the offer, do not accept it. So if it's like asking you to download some antivirus or something, just don't accept it. But click next. Okay, so I didn't get any offers that time. It got pretty lucky. But now just click open. And then copy the link that it gives you. It should look something like this. And the link, the link is different every time, so don't try to copy this. Uh, right here, paste it into your search bar, click enter, and then as you can see, here's the file right here. And so what you're going to want to do is click this, so it opens it up like this, and then just drag this file directly onto your desktop. So let me delete my old one. So drag this file right onto your desktop. And then you can close the WinRAR, you're not going to need that anymore. So just like that, boom. And another error you might be getting during this is maybe... It might open it as like a notepad or it might open it as a just anything else besides the WinRAR. All you want to do is right click on the file, click open with WinRAR or just open with and then click WinRAR and that's how you're going to do that. Okay, so once you have your executor installed, make sure everything's working properly. You should have exactly these files in it if you're using Vega X. If you're not using Vega X, just look at any other YouTube tutorial on how to download whatever executor you have. So open it up. Boom. I'm going to skip the loading. Okay, so here we go. This is the main menu on the executor, and I've done a lot of like showcases on this exploit before, so I'm not going to go like too in depth with it. I mean, there's a script hub if you don't want to execute your own scripts. 
But I'm going to show you guys how to execute your own scripts, of course, because that gives you a lot more freedom. So let's hop into Blocks Fruits, for example. Okay, so I loaded up into Blocks Fruits, and now I'm going to go try to find a script for it. So I'm not going to show you how to use like any other things. This video is mainly just for like my website. So if you're trying to get a script from this website, very, very simple. Let's say I'm trying to get this Blocks Fruit script. I'm going to click download now and it will open a pop up. So watch this. Click it. Close the pop up. Click it again. Close the pop up. And now you're in. So there's two pop ups and that's it. Then you can just get to the link. So let's do, for example, Hollow Hub. Okay, so this is what the page is going to look like. It's going to have the script and then also like these ads. So just get rid of the ads. Just ignore those. Just copy this script. And if it's a little too confusing, you could just click raw and it's going to open up a page that only has the script in it. So you could just do control A and then control C. So copy this script. Always copy every inch of the script. Even if it's really long, just copy every part of it. Go back into the game, click attach or your executor might say inject or something. Then when it's attached, you just come over here, paste in your script. And again, if you're using my executor, you could just come over here and just click the blocks for its script. But yeah, so click this, click execute, three, two, one, here's the script. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So now you have the script. If you want to watch any of my showcases, that is basically just going to be showing you how to use each script. But yeah. Okay, so now that you have your executor, if you have this running for about a day, your antivirus is going to turn right back on and it's going to disable the exploit again. So if you don't want that to happen, I'll leave a link in the description to this thing called D control or defender control. See, this is it right here. So if you want to use this, just open it up, click this. The password is Sordum, I think, S-O-R-D-U-M, just like this, Sordum. And then when you click OK, boom, it's going to ask you yes or no, just click yes. And right here, it's going to say real time protection is turned off. What you want to do is disable it. So disable it and then boom, now it's completely turned off. And now if I come back over here to my Windows security, it says it's organized. It's managed by my organization. So now it literally cannot turn back on and you're completely fine. This does not disable your firewall protection, so you don't need to be worried about that. It's just for your uh, Windows Defender. So yeah, really useful tool if you're trying to like not waste your time re enabling that. And if you're ever having any errors or issues or anything with my exploit, just open up this readme.txt document. You can either join my Discord server for some support or also just open up this help document right here. But yeah, so that's pretty much all the basics for just getting started with exploiting, like I said at the beginning. And if you have any other issues, any questions or anything like that, just join my Discord server and open up a ticket and we will try to help you with whatever you have. But yeah. So I hope you guys like this video. Again, if you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comments as well, not just the Discord server. So yeah, like if you can, subscribe if you can, and as always, peace.